there are several habits that can negatively affect testosterone levels in the body. Here are five examples of bad habits that can lead to a reduction in levels of this important hormone. Lack of adequate sleep. Lack of quality sleep and sleep deprivation can interfere with hormone levels, including testosterone. Studies show that sleep deprivation is associated with lower testosterone levels. It is important to establish a regular sleep routine, sleep 7 to 9 hours per night, and create an environment conducive to restful sleep. Sedentary lifestyle Lack of physical exercise and a sedentary lifestyle are associated with reduced testosterone levels. Regular exercise, especially resistance and strength training, help increase testosterone production. It is important to incorporate physical activities into your daily routine and maintain an active lifestyle. Unbalanced diet. A diet poor in essential nutrients such as vitamins, minerals and health fats can affect testosterone production. It is important to have a balanced and varied diet with an emphasis on natural foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains and healthy fats. Additionally, certain nutrients like zinc and vitamin D are particularly important for testosterone production and can be obtained through specific foods or supplements if necessary. Excessive alcohol consumption Excessive alcohol consumption can negatively affect testosterone production. Alcohol can interfere with hormonal metabolism and cause testicular dysfunction. It is recommended to limit alcohol consumption and drinking in moderation according to health guidelines. Chronic stress Chronic stress, as mentioned early, can affect testosterone levels. High levels of stress can lead to hormonal imbalances and negatively impact testosterone production. It is important to adopt effective stress management strategies such as practicing relaxation exercises, meditation, yoga, or other stress reduction techniques. Remember that each person is unique and may respond differently to these habits. It is always recommended to consult a healthcare professional, such as doctor and nutritionist, for personalized and appropriate guidance specific to your case. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Thanks.